Salam alaikum. Madayaw ug maayong hapon kaninyong tanan. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. I commend the Public Attorney's Office and the organizing committee members for the successful conduct of the 7th Mandatory Continuing Legal Education Convention for our public attorneys. I also want to take this opportunity to congratulate everyone for their accomplishments in 2021. You surpassed your target cases handled, including appealed cases that were favorably, favorably disposed of and served 9.7 million Filipinos. Congratulations sa inyo. That is not an easy feat considering that we were still in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. To achieve this, public attorneys were instructed to give their official work cell phone numbers to their clients. Thus ensuring that clients are able to reach their attorneys with minimal risk for both parties. PAO also authorized the conduct of home visits for clients with special needs and further expanded its reach through online legal counseling broadcasted live on social media. This is why our chief public attorney in the Philippines, Dr. Percy Darueda Acosta, always stands tall and dignified in all her public appearances. One look at her and you know she is proud to lead an organization providing accessible, efficient, high quality and effective legal services to indigents and other qualified persons. We continue to be plagued with social issues and injustices and many Filipinos need legal representation. This is true especially among indigenous peoples and the marginalized sector. With limited resources and scant opportunities, their hope for seeking justice depends largely on dedication, commitment, and exercise of servant leadership of our public attorney's office. Just recently, the news on the push for strengthening the enforcement of the Anti-Violence Against Women and Children Act was highlighted when the DSWD partnered with your office for complaints against estranged fathers who failed to provide financial support to their children. Single and abandoned mothers are disadvantaged in carrying the burden of raising their children. The partnership of two government offices provides additional protection to solo parents and their children. In my accession to office, we have started receiving requests from fellow Filipinos currently facing incarceration for free legal assistance and support for expeditious hearings of their cases. Recognizing the substantial role that our lawyers at the Percy the Acosta office play. <laughs> we have conducted initial talks with Chief Acosta for assistance in these requests. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your support to the office of the Vice President. <clears throat> we do not and cannot afford to seize learning as legal professionals and guardians of justice. It is a noble opportunity to take as we help to ensure the integrity of the law and continue to uphold, despite challenges and disruptions, the inherent democratic rights enshrined in our Constitution and the laws of the land. I continue to hope for the best in our role of championing the rights of our marginalized and underrepresented citizens. Before I end, as I said, it's truly a pleasant surprise and always a welcome to be invited to the events of the Public Attorney's Office. Once again, madami pa akong mga kwento pero ikakwento ko kapag nasa Boracay tayo.
Once again, congratulations. May the odds indeed be constantly in favor of justice and equality for all. Patuloy nating mahalin ang Pilipinas. Shukran.